What a funny trip. <laughs> Let's put it as first of all, in Kopangan, the ship, the ferry had 30 minutes delay. Then I arrived at Koh Samui Airport and the airplane from Koh Samui to Bangkok had 45 minutes delay. <laughs> and in Bangkok from Dubai, the airplane had four hours delay and then we were not flying six hours, we were flying eight hours until the airports told us we cannot land in Dubai, we cannot land in the um, airports around them. So we have to fly a little bit back to Muscat. I don't know the hell that this exists here, so... <laughs> huh? You're a blogger? A what? A blogger. Ah, I'm just making a little bit of stories and, oh, okay. and, uh, Make a and, and tell, tell my people the, the trip, the crazy trip here. So, and then we arrived in Muscat, <laughs> like I said. And uh, now I need, to, first of all, to check Muscat, what, we, how, where, the who and everything. And now they told us the next flight to Dubai goes first in 16 hours, so tonight at 2 a.m. And uh, I try to check now out if maybe I can go with the Oman airline direct to Frankfurt. That would be beautiful, but yeah, I need to check now how it is, everything. And that's very interesting. Um, first of all, like I said in the story uh, yesterday, it's all about being calm, being playful, stay in your middle, you know, still have a smile. And uh, the second thing is, that's very interesting that I think this is something what happens right now in many places, you know. So it's it's very interesting that my boat has delay, the air, and every airplane has delay. So that's why let's see what the next uh, the next minutes I will find out for the next hours what will happen. Ah, worst encounter. Yeah, so I will keep you updated when I arrive finally in Germany. This will be a long trip. It's already a long trip. I should now already be in Germany. Now I should arrive already in Frankfurt. And now I'm in Muscat. <laughs> oh my god. So, short update. Right now I arrived uh, in the Novotel uh, in Muscat. After now 30 hours. No, 30, it's, not, it's not 30 hours. It's like 26 hours of traveling. Um, we still don't know when we uh, departure from here to Dubai. And from Dubai then to Frankfurt. And until then... I have a very beautiful roommate, this guy here, <laughs> and we have to share the rooms with the other uh, passengers until um, we get picked up for the next destination in Dubai. I saw pictures and videos in Dubai. I hope everybody's fine in Dubai. Like it's crazy with the water there. Of course, why should Dubai uh, have like infra infrastructure for this kind of rainfall? Um, but uh, yeah, this is the way that. So, three Uhr morgens. Im Bus. Jetzt geht's zurück zum Flughafen, dann vier Stunden Wartezeit. Und dann geht's hoffentlich nach Dubai weiter. Und dann habe ich keine Ahnung, wie ich nach Deutschland komme. Ja, wir werden sehen. So, hopefully at 9 a.m. the airplane goes to Dubai. And then. I don't know which uh, flight I can take to Frankfurt. We, nobody knows yet. So it can happen that I arrive at Dubai later and they tell me that there is no flight. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we will see what happens. I keep you updated. Tja, es sieht so aus, als muss ich bis zum 23. April hier bleiben. Ähm, 
in Dubai mit der Überschwemmung. Das wird ja ein Spaß. <lacht> also Freunde, einen wunderschönen guten Morgen. Die Situation ist... Uh, I make it on English. The situation is like that. We are on day three. It's Friday. Wait, Tuesday, Wednesday. No, it's the fourth day already. Because Tuesday we started. So I'm now again at the airport. I still need my luggage. I still need a hotel room. So yesterday I was so lucky that I met the guy here and he said to me, give me his card. He said, look, I live here. When you don't find a hotel room, call me. You can sleep on the couch. In the end, it was the floor, but that's a different kind of story. And, um, and this was, this was my, my, my angel sending from my angel because here was totally full, totally chaotic, no hotel rooms anymore. So I would rather sleep here in the airport on the floor uh, than waiting here in the row again in the queue. And this was really nice. So I slept on the floor tonight because the couch was too small. Uh, like I said, now I'm back in the airport to check my luggage and a hotel room until the 23th of April. So next week, I think Tuesday, Wednesday, I don't know. And I want to share a thought with you because this is a very mm, special kind of situation with the storm. And I, I will, I will um, send a video inside what there are still floating areas and everything. Of course, not so bad than two, three days ago, but still crazy, you know. And... Um, people died here. I mean, not not many, but some people died, and this is a crazy situation. And this is where you can really see yourself, observe yourself, how you act, how you are, and that's so fun. How many people are very angry and sad and crying and complaining, or whatever. And I was just the 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 mountain uh, in the. <laughs> the smiling mountain in the crowd so it was very cool i had cool conversations i met so much cool people and uh, had just a happy time even if we were eight hours in the queue and yes it was of course it was exhausting after eight hours sleeping and everything but still we had a great time and you can see and this is not just a theory blah 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 it, it is practical so you can you can test it in practical situations um, that if you are in this kind of situations in life, that you are really calm, that you're really in your center, that you really still change the perspective of situation and make the best out of it. So when you get a lemon, you make a lemonade, right? And, um, and that's so beautiful to live this kind of life that nothing around you can destroy your, uh, your mood. And that's why still... So the plan will be, um, now today looks very good, it's not so crowdy. I think I will get in the next minutes, hopefully, hopefully uh, a hotel room. And then, ah, you see, there, there we go. Here. Which ticket, the board, boarding pass or the voucher? Okay. And, uh, you know, still be friendly with the people, respectful to people, and then everything will be fine. Everything, you know, you just give yourself trust uh, in, in life everything would be good so the plan is going in the hotel um, grabbing my luggage I hope I get my luggage and then just first rest of course I need a rest <laughs> eat something and then yeah and then spend the next days in Dubai and then let's see what happens if I really come back at next week because I have a next hotel booking at the 26th of April so I hope everything will go well um, because I want to snowboard Oh, das ist ein Video. <lacht> Jetzt wollte ich ein schönes Bild machen. Also, ich war jetzt ins Hotel und äh, mein Gepäck, haben die gemeint, kommt in drei Tagen dann, ich glaube, das habe ich schon gesagt, weiß ich gar nicht. Egal, 
kommen in drei Tagen im Hotel an. Ich hoffe, das klappt alles. Und jetzt äh, bringt mir gleich einen, den ich gestern kennengelernt habe. Äh, oder vorgestern. Der bringt mir jetzt so cool, das ist so geil, wenn du einfach fremde Menschen kennenlernst. Ich habe ja, hab ein Bild mit ihm gemacht, stimmt, wir waren ja Abendessen. Und der bringt mir jetzt Klamotten ins Hotel. Hammer. Ich bin super dankbar, dass ich da so tolle Menschen kennengelernt habe. Und das würde auch nicht passieren, wenn du nicht an dir selbst arbeitest, an deinen Kommunikationsskills, an deiner Empathie, an deiner Achtsamkeit. Ähm, Menschen, mit einfach Menschen, mit denen richtig geil umzugehen und dementsprechend auch Vertrauen aufzubauen. Und ich habe es mit jemand anderem gehabt, den ich auch kennengelernt habe, der mir im Prinzip jetzt eine Unterkunft heute Nacht gegeben hat, wo ich auch super dankbar bin. Ähm, und da hatten wir es auch drüber, wo wir gesagt haben, hey, guck mal, als, als Mensch darfst du einfach diese ganzen Abilities und Skills aufbauen, damit du mit Menschen in Kontakt kommst, damit Menschen dich registrieren, damit Menschen äh, dir auch am Ende überhaupt helfen können, weil sie können dir nur helfen, wenn sie dich wahrnehmen, wenn du überhaupt mit ihnen sprichst und wenn sie auch ein Vertrauen irgendwo haben. Uh, und so kann man sich dann gegenseitig unterstützen und deswegen ist es so wertvoll, an sich selbst zu arbeiten, was ich die letzten Tage auch jetzt hier für äh, ähm, ja, Komplimente bekommen habe. Das hat mich so berührt im Herz, hat mich, das war so schön, weil das zeigt, wie sehr auch die Arbeit an sich selbst am Ende des Tages auch sehr viel bringt. And now again on English, because this is important for everybody. If you work on your inner emotional stability in your body, in your mind, uh, on your communication skills, on your empathic, uh, em empathy, empathy, yeah, uh, on your awareness, on your consciousness, and all these things, then the outer world, the environment around you will change in a way you cannot imagine, you know? So when the people around me, like, Uh, they were complaining and were angry and everything and in my close environment only nice people you know only cool people they help me they give me their cards they say come on let's go let's go you can sleep in my house the, the one guy uh, brings me now some clothes in the hotel and everything this wouldn't happen if I wouldn't work on myself so much So after my own stupidness uh, with my forehead and a lot of trouble, I got a beautiful room in the Marriott, all inclusive with breakfast, lunch, dinner and a beautiful bathroom. Oh, I will use this baby. I will use you. Very nice. Very, very nice. The shower is beautiful. Yeah. What's up, guys? <laughs> How does it look like? Wow, well, I look like a warrior. But now I can say I got it from a Muay Thai fight, the scarf, <laughs> in the future. But it was not from Muay Thai. It was just a stupidness. I hit myself on, uh, I don't know the name in English, but on a, something very hard when I lay down to grab something from the floor. You know, your life is not hard because life is hard. Your life is hard because you make it hard. So we can work hard, we can work out hard, we can be in hard situations, but because we change our perspective to the situation, it's getting easy. It's getting, maybe not easy, it's getting like with ease. You can see the things, feel the things, think about the things and handle and act to the situations with ease. And that's about uh, life for me, in, in my opinion. And if you want to learn how this works <laughs> with this and everything, uh, then you can write me a direct message.
kurzes äh, Story-Update zu meinem Dubai-Transit-Chaos. Um, yeah, I, I make the update in English. I need to remember to speak in English. So, I got a, co a phone call right now from the JW Marriott in Frankfurt. <laughs> so crazy. And they said to me, yeah, here's, here's the luggage. Here's, here's your luggage, Mr. Hills. And I said, wow, what, what is doing this, my suitcase in the Frankfurt JW Marriott? Uh, middle in, the, in, in, in Frankfurt, not at the airport. Uh, it's, it's in the city. And yeah, they, I, I think they, because here I'm in Dubai, I'm also in the J, JW uh, Marriott. So I think they, they, they <laughs> missed it and they thought, oh, he's flying to Frankfurt. So we put it there. So my suitcase is now in Frankfurt. So I need to, when I come to the airplane, uh, to the airport, I need to drive. I need to drive from the airport 30 minutes to Frankfurt in the city, pick up my suitcase and from there drive to Karlsruhe. It depends now if I get a shuttle service. Uh, if I get a shuttle service, it's, it's okay. So they, we drive together to there and, and, and to Frankfurt and then to Karlsruhe. But when I know, need to go by train, this will be a tough thing. So I need to go by train 30 minutes there. Then again, 10 minutes to the, to the, to the main station in Frankfurt. And from there, again, one hour to Karlsruhe main station. And from Karlsruhe again, 10, 15 minutes to Durlach main station. And then I need to walk 20 minutes with 30 kilo of a suitcase and a 10 kilo handbag home. So that would, that would be crazy. So my task is now to book a shuttle service, uh, over Emirates. Um, then. It will be fine. I wish everybody a wonderful good morning. Greetings from the airport. I'm awake since 5 a.m., 5 o'clock in the morning. And uh, yeah, I did my check-in. I did my security move. Now I'm going to the Emirate Lounge. And when everything works out, then I will be at 1 p.m in Germany Frankfurt and then I will drive over the shuttle I booked the shuttle it works that's perfect um, and then we drive first to the JV Marriott in Frankfurt to pick up my suitcase and from there we drive home Whew, and then the trip is done so short update I'm at home I showered I cleaned my stuff I made a paperwork and I yeah need to realize that somebody in the airport or I don't know who break up my luggage. I cannot believe it and stole something outside of it. They didn't stole much, but they stole one bag inside of my baggage. Uh, where is um, some cable stuff inside what I don't care about, but also something what I need to make podcasts. So I can not make right now podcasts. I mean, At least not with the beautiful quality. I can do podcasts with my mobile phone. That's not, not, not a problem. And I will do that. So you don't need to wait longer for the podcast. Um, but yeah, it's a little bit annoying that something is missing.